Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thank you for our time together. I'm standing here next to the Sea of Galilee and the beautiful hills outside of Tiberias. We'll look forward to you joining us on our Israel Tour 2019. But right now, let's go to Mark chapter 8, beginning with verse 14. But the disciples discovered they had forgotten to bring any food, all right? So they were doing their jobs and looking at their provisions and their supplies. So there was only one loaf of bread with them in the boat. As they were crossing the lake, Jesus warned them, Beware the yeast of the Pharisees and of Herod. They decided that he was saying this because they hadn't brought any bread. So notice, they allowed themselves to define a problem by their need. And that's not what Jesus was talking about at all. They decided that he was saying this because they hadn't brought any bread. Jesus knew what they were thinking, so he said, Why are so you worried about having no food? Won't you ever learn or understand? Are your hearts too hard to take it in? Are your hearts too hard to take it in? So many times, brothers and sisters, we read very simple words of Jesus. His, his words do not take a rocket scientist to understand, but it does take a soft heart to understand. Let me say that one more time. The words of Jesus are not complicated. They don't take a rocket scientist to understand, but they do take a soft heart to understand. And here his 12 apostles, the ones he was committing the, the work to take the gospel to the whole world, their hearts were so hard that all they could see was, we don't have any food. They defined a whole problem on the basis of a need because their hearts were hard. Now I want to challenge you today. If you're having a challenge understanding simple basic truth of God, you don't need to pick up another commentary. You don't need to pick up the Greek and the Hebrew research. You don't need a, a master's or a doctorate in, in theology. What you need is a soft heart. If you're having trouble with the scriptures, maybe it's time to put away the books and get on your knees and say, Lord, would you give me a soft heart so I can understand beautiful truth?